Hi, I'm Matt McMurray from Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia, and today we have the Treadright line of remolded tires. So Treadright is a US-based manufacturer of high quality, affordable remolded tires. All of their tires are made in the US with pride in an environmentally friendly process. So when you buy from Treadright, you're buying factory direct. 40 years ago, the founders of Treadright tires realized that the cost of high quality performance tires was going to be out of reach for many businesses, farmers, and outdoor enthusiasts. Armed with many years of experience with commercial and passenger tire remolding, the owners set out to create the most environmentally responsible and affordable light truck tire here in the United States. Tire manufacturing has remained a growth industry over the years with recycled and remolded tires currently on nearly 80% of commercial airlines in the United States. In addition to the airline industry, most emergency response vehicles and high school buses now use recycled tires. So Treadright has remained committed to growing the tire lines, giving more people more access to the highest value tire on the market by introducing new sizes and models every single year. So Treadright tires, using a recycled casing off an old tire. And they basically strip the tire from bead to bead on the outside, stripping all the tread off of it, but using the, reusing the structural components of the tire. So once they strip off from bead to bead, the old tread section, they inspect these casings to make sure that they're okay. Now, one thing you'll notice, and what a lot of Treadright customers have noticed is Sometimes you'll get a tire that has a casing repair. It looks like a patch, but it's not a patch. It's a casing repair. So structurally, this whole casing meets their guidelines for quality and strength, but sometimes they might have a slight puncture in this inner casing that has to be covered. And so that's what this is. This is a casing repair. So they repair this casing from the inside out, the whole casing and then they recheck it and then they remold it after that so it's sealed it's tight there's no issue with the integrity of the casing it's all good the great news about it all is they use a recycled casing that normally would go in a landfill or other recycling facility and just sit there but since we can reuse it we can basically recycle it and it saves the environment and it keeps tires from piling up everywhere. Another thing about the casing is they only use the highest quality casings. So they're not using any Chinese casings. Most of this stuff is BF Goodrich, Mickey Thompson, Cooper, name brand American made casings or at least American branded casings of the highest quality because it doesn't make any sense to put all this quality remold on a trash casing. So they're really using good casing here. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of value to this because number one, you're using a recycled product. Number two, it's half the cost of a new name brand tire. Number three, it has the features you need to make it last a long time. And from what I'm looking at, I think that it's a really high quality product. At first, I was unsure because I didn't understand the process and didn't really study on this tire and really know what was going on, but now, I feel like that this is, a, this is a very high quality product. The AT Warden and the AT Axiom are the two all-terrain styles that Treadright has. You'll notice that this Warden AT looks a lot like the original BF Goodrich KO. The tread pattern looks almost exactly the same. They do call this the Warden 2. This tire was remolded in the USA. And the date that it was remolded was the 32nd week of 2021. This tire has a DOT number on it too, just like any other conventional tire. And that DOT number is specific to this remold. So you can see the recycled symbol right here, rim protector. Three Peak Mountain Snowflake. The Warden AT, what I noticed about it is it's Three Peak Snowflake rated. So it's got sipings, it's got the correct compound for three peak snowflake rating. So that was really interesting to me, particularly at the price point, like it's priced really good. The Axiom has got a little bit more aggressive sidewall and it has a rim protector. So that was what's unique because the other three tires don't have a rim protector. The Axiom looks more like a Korean tire 
the way it's designed, but it's a, it's a little bit different. It's more aggressive, a little bit more wider voids in the blocks and everything, and a little more aggressive. You can see that it does have a rim protector here. More aggressive on the sidewall here, so when you air it down, you, you're just gonna keep it from getting pinched and, and cut, just like most off-road tires are. We do have a DOT number, just like any other conventional tire. Data manufacturer, the 30th week of 2021, so it's not really that old. We can see right here, remolded in the USA, that's a big deal. Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated on the Axiom 2, and then the recycling symbol showing that this was a recycled casing. So we got these sawtooth looking tread blocks that have siping in each tread block. I guess that's what gives us the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rating. Has a lot of biting edges and non-connected outer blocks. Now that's basically just for traction. Overall, fairly decent looking tread pattern. So you can sort of see what they were trying to do with the look of it. They were trying to make it look really good, still be all terrain. So these two tires are their mud terrain style of tire. This one is called the Mud Lord, and it looks a lot like a Mickey Thompson or Dick Cepak the way it's designed. It's really aggressive, and it has some siping and everything. And I can see that this tire could be really good for having that maximum traction mud tire, but also having the ability to drive in some light snow with these siping. This has a way more aggressive sidewall with side biters. I mean, this is for deep mud and snow when you air it down. You're gonna have a lot of traction out of this tire. We'll look at the top of the tread here in a second. But again, remolded in the USA. The size 35, 12, 50 by 17. It is recycled. Remember we talked about a recycled casing. There is no rim protector here, which is unusual, but that's all right. It may be designed for something different. And if you were to happen to have a set of B locks, you wouldn't want that rim protector because that would mess up. I'm pretty sure that would mess that up. The Mud Lord has a much more aggressive tread pattern than the Axiom. We do have squiggly sipes in each one of the tread blocks. Uh, that's pretty cool. We do have stone injectors in between the tread blocks. That's another cool feature. This reminds me a lot of like a, a Mickey Thompson tire. That's why I keep bringing it up, the way that it's designed. Tons of biting edges around each one of these blocks. There are tons of biting edges, but they're also in a pattern close together in some cases to reduce the noise and help with the handling at higher speeds and at highway speeds. So this is kind of like a, not really a high, not really a hybrid tire, but uh, more aggressive than an AT, but less aggressive than a full on maximum traction mud tire. This is the claw. So the claw, you'll notice that the claw looks almost exactly like the first BF Goodrich mud terrain tire. And there's a reason for that because number one, it was a good looking tire. And number two, it was pretty functional. This is a really, their most aggressive tire. On the Mud Lord, you can see that the tread blocks are a little bit closer together. So you're gonna have lower noise than you are on the claw. But you will notice that the Mud Lord has a much more aggressive sidewall. So this is the claw. This is the tire that looks a lot like the original BF Goodrich Mud Terrain. Uh, looks looks really similar to that. There's a reason for that. It's a good looking tire. A lot of people love that tire. There is a little bit of a rim protector on this tire. As you can see right here, it is remolded in the USA, just like all of them. That's a big deal. Recycled casing. We've got the load range, load range E, which all four tires are load range E due to the size that has the max load rating. Does have a DOT number, just like a conventional tire. So, this tire was manufactured in the 16th week of 2022, so it's, it's, it's really fairly new. Now again, we talked about this tread pattern looking like that old BF Goodrich All-Terrain. There are smaller sipes in these tread blocks. And these tread blocks are farther apart than the other tires. So you're gonna get the, the maximum amount of traction out of this tire. You also have places where this tire is studdable. So that'll give you extra traction in the, in the ice or the snow. So that's a unique feature of this.
So that's the claw. They call it the claw for a reason. Maximum traction. Lots of space in between the voids for deep mud and deep snow. Lots of biting edges. Uh, made the claw through the mud and the dirt. So, but based on what I see, like, it, they look pretty awesome to me. Now, the claw is also studdable. So, if you want to put studs in it in a winter climate, you can do that too. So, the Treadrite line of tires are available in many sizes from 15 to 20 inches. The sizes of these tires that you see here are 35, 12, 50 by 20, and they retail from $220 to $245, which is a huge bargain because most of these tires and name brand would cost over $400 a piece. So the models that you see here are the AT Warden, the AT Axiom, the Mud Lord, and the MT Claw. You can pick these tires up directly from treadright.com. They'll ship them right to you. On the scale of try it, watch it, or trash it, I would say try it if you have a farm truck, an older SUV, or another off-road vehicle that you don't drive a lot on the road, but you may want a newer tire to drive off-road. So if you have any questions or you'd like to see me review a particular tire, drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.